Stop using the color of my skin as an excuse to tear up my city. Strong words from Denver's director of safety after rioters destroyed property and set fires downtown. A stark contrast from the peaceful gathering hours earlier honoring the memory of Elijah McClain killed after an encounter with Aurora police almost one year ago. Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. City officials have a clear message for anyone rioting in Denver. Officers will arrest you. Jacqueline Quinn is live in downtown Denver tonight with a closer look at the damage done last night. Jacqueline. And Kathy, I want to show you this spot here, these charred bushes left over because someone set it on fire. And we actually have video of what it looked like last night from someone who was close by in the area here, uh, especially when it was at its roaring peak. Now, Denver police say much of this started around eight last night, telling us rioters and vandals caused serious damage to the government buildings uh, around here, as well as businesses like Quiznos. And those that live near police headquarters in the downtown area are bracing for another busy night after watching this fire burn near the courthouse. I couldn't believe it. I, I just stayed in my house, like I said. I saw all the, I opened my door, I saw like, I don't know, seven, eight cop cars. And I just closed the door. I was like, leave me alone. Been in conversation with mayors across this country. Um, we know that there is a coordinated effort to inflict these type of riotous activities in cities. We saw some of it last night in Chicago and other cities. Uh, other cities are picking up intel that they may be targeted next. Uh, as mayors, we're going to work together to continue to share information uh, and continue to try to do everything we can to, do, to dissect this organized effort. Now, an update as to the aftermath last night. We know that one police officer was injured receiving a burns and suffered a concussion. Twelve people were arrested, some of them from Denver and the Boulder area. And again, people out here tonight worried uh, what could happen tonight, but they are hoping for, if there are going to be protests out here, a peaceful night of protests. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.